ones here from Jules Designs at JT Creation. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some Harvest Moon tags uh, using inks and bits and pieces like that. What I use more than anything, just this plastic disc. And I also have the others. So I've got, I think that is a... four centimeter so that's a one and a half inch punch yeah 3.8 centimeters a half inch one and a half inch punch and that's a two inch punch and that is a three inch just plastic circle this is something i've done in the past when i used to do my cards um when we did the the sunset so this is the harvest moon and this is kind of the sky at night. And this is just a, a sunset with mushrooms on. So what I've used is, I've used these tags. I've also got some um, paper now. It's the one I used to do my, my card making. I used to do my picture on there and put it on the front of the card. It's, it was 50 for 350. But that was probably about 15 years ago so it's probably a lot dearer than that um but it's, it's kind of a coated um card i now use it for alcohol ink, alcohol inks and stuff like that so i've got a three inch a two and a half inch and a three and a half inch and i've also got some of my little cream shipping tags these are the ones i like using more than anything the only thing i don't like is i don't like these and sometimes i can pull it off but i'm not that bothered so what we're going to do is we're going to do this one first and i've got some of these old makeup blenders that i got from premark i think they were a pound and i'm just using some I've got Dusty Concord. Now, what have I got in? I've got Milled Lavender and I've got Dusty Concord in the normal. Uh, I've got Seedless Preserves. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with the, the Milled Lavender because we're going to do like the Harvest Moon, so like the Autumn and so you have a lot, a lot of purpley grey skies this isn't very good for and hopefully this will if not it's no big deal and what i do you could stick if you wanted that. if you had um the crafters companion sticky i've got some stencil glue somewhere i should use that that's not doing much for me so i'm going to put that one away and i'm going to go for the pale fig Because it's going on cream, it is kind of a weird colour. And this is the Harmony Spectrum Noir, um, uh, similar to the Distress inks. You can still do a lot with them. And then we'll go for the Dusty Concord, which is a little bit deeper. And we'll just go around the edges. I'm saying we'll go around the edges and what do we do? We'll go straight over. And I'm working on a silicon mat here, so I'm not inking my 
not chop too much so you can see there and it's fine putting that back down now what I'm going to go for is um, no that's a bit too we'll have a look at mustard seed Oh, this is a bit juicy. Okay. Yep. And I'm just putting that on random bits. And I'll take it down here as well, just to use it off the brush. And there we are, I'm just going to wipe this up. Well, I've got a little dog trying to scratch to get in one of the bedrooms, either to me or my husband in in his wee office. That's a bit juicy that mustard seed, I'll need to remember that. Right, so I'm going to go back with the purple. These are like scratching at the door, pretending to be Dora. Right, I'm going to have got crushed velvet. Yeah, that's better. Oh, <laughs> not so good when you try and get the ink off the lid. Mm, I think I just OTT'd with the... With the mustard seed but never mind because what we've got is crackling campfire which is an orange and i don't need the moon for this and i'm putting a deep orange around it So this is a really autumn sky. Now, now what I want to do is I want to put like a faint shadow on the moon, so I'm, uh, on the moon or, well it is the moon, like that. And then what I'm going to do is, seems as I made a mock up of it, we'll make it like a little distress type thing. So we'll just wait for that to, you can try and, and there we are. And we'll lift that one up. it doesn't matter how many times you spray water on it it's even doing the you know the, the moon bit as well so all right so we'll dry that off okay we'll hang that back up and it's warped a bit not too bad now what I might do is I might put um, 
kind of an orangey streak across here. And one up here. Okay. And what's this seedless preserve like? We'll try a bit of this. Now it's oxides I'm using now. These are a little bit more opaque so they'll cover up There's my, my little moon, a little circle. That one away, and then we'll go for dusty concord, I think. Just a little bit more. Oops. going a bit grey but then you do in the autumn you do get sort of like the the grey type hues and I'll take that off and again I wasn't going to spray any water on this but I am because I want because I'm nosy I want to see what I get There we are. Quite like that. I'm not doing a fairy album, but I quite like that. And it's just, it's this one I'm using. And I'm using Claire's Nocturne. And I'm just going to put some silhouetted glass uh, glass grass in the foreground there we are now that's lifted a bit so what I'll do is I'll I've got some black on this so I'll just blacken that and wipe that up And then we want to stamp this. All you need is a little trust and a little bit of uh, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. I'm going to put this one on because I quite like it, although I'm not doing a fairy album. It doesn't matter. I'll still put it in my, my autumn. And then what you do is you put that over the moon. There we are, and there's one tag. And what I'm going to do is that dry. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a, the, this kind of photo card. This is a little bit more difficult messing on with. Um, I tried it with a brayer and it, it didn't work. Um, it's harder to ink on, but we're going to have a go anyway. I'm going to try and use paler colours first and I'll use my if this doesn't work at least you'll know if it works you'll know to use it so I've just put a bit of glue stick on there 
It's just stuff I'm going to go it. with the, the straw bale first. And what I'm doing is I'm coming off, starting off the card first. And then just... just the only thing is see the, the glue's picking up the the ink so it looks like that um you know the the man in the moon used to frighten the life out of me when I was a kid There, so I think we'll go for a, that straw bale. What have we got here? We've got lemon tonic. So this is a brighter lemon, so we'll go kind of around these bits. Campfire. Um, all the rest are... Uh, Put one here and it's just orange. I think that's what we might go with actually. Now, dare I go in with a navy blue? Or a dark purple. What's the dark purple I've got? Damson wine. We'll try it. And we'll just do the very, very top. That's enough of that. Now, Uncharted Mariner would be good for this, but I've only got it in the uh, oxide. So what I'm going to go for is, I'm going to see what I've got here, Midnight. And we'll try this. Just swithering, just picking this off a little bit there. See, it started to stick, so you need to be careful. So I'm just going back over that again. I'll go over with, um, I think, anti linen. Uh, pumice, um, now this is an oxide, I'm just doing it very, very lightly. I just want that kind of moony Yeah, the oxide doesn't like this type of paper, but that's fine because I've got it in the middle. So you've got like the the white on the outskirts, and we want to do a bit of villainous purple, villainous portion. I mean, villainous purple. I sometimes wonder where I get my names from. Imagine having me naming the inks at Ranger. 
I think we will do a little bit of uncharted marina there. Um, it's just got that turquoisey kind of feel to it. There we are. Just put it right round the edges and then I'll just spread it in a bit. And then it's just taken most of the So everything's not looking too purple. Can't take it down to the yellow too much. Put that there. And we'll just give it a little round the edges. Okay. So now we've got that, I am going to take the corners off and you can do this any way you like. I'm using my corner chumper like that, okay, quite like that and I like that grass so I think this is what we'll go for. This is a, an indigo blue. A stamp set that I've had for years. Bought it when I was card making and never used it. Don't know why. So again, I'm using my Claire's Versafine. Now, this is slippy, so you have to be very careful because I made it muck of my birdie ones and there we are and if you put your finger in it you really make a muck up of it ones am i gonna i'm gonna have the fern or am i gonna have the flowers no i'm gonna have the fern i think okay i've got it on that line whoops get it over there julie on that line. Again. So I don't have to stamp the whole stamp because I'm not putting it all on. Move this over here so I can see it and I'm putting that right to the very bottom of the stamp. I'm hoping I'm getting it right to the very bottom of the stamp. And I'm stamping my silicon mat too. There, see, I never got it down to the bottom. But and this stays wet for quite a while. So all I'm doing is I'm just going over. Just smudging it down at the bottom a bit. Okay, I'm going to heat set that. And hopefully this will dry it off. So we've used that one and we've used that one. Now we're going to use this one. I'm going to use grasshopper. Yep. Yeah. And I am going to use a bit of yellow, so we'll go. Okay. Yep. And because this is plastic, you can see, well, you can see it's an, it's an easy. Rip. Okay. And then this gives you like a scenery 
and you can use different shades. And then when you lift it up, and then if you move it over slightly, and we'll go for slightly darker green. This is pine and it is I should really work it down but we can go over it again because I can go over that with yellow. for a lighter green still um, I think we might go for bundled sage and we'll do that right down at the very bottom there you've got like sort of like the the hills and what have you but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go over this yellow and just blend it in so, there you are and you can see there's a little bit of yellow there in the the background all right I'm just Gently going to go over this. And then we'll go over it with one of my little daubers. And I'm just doing the middle, I'm not going too near the edges. Well, I'm blending it out to the edge. And it's just so that you get like a white ring around it. You just need to be patient because the, the ink does blend in. Just put some drops of orange on it. Yeah. And then just pop that on. Oh wow. <laughs> it does. Oh no, that looks amazing. That really does look amazing. I quite like that. Um don't need to do too many times with that. Some big splodges and lift it up. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I do like that. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over with my mountains. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with the 
the yellow one again. And there we are, we're getting quite a, a bold up. And I'm just going over it. That's it. And then we'll put a little bit more just to again. And, and where's my stamp yes, block? I've got absolutely really yellow nut. And again, I'll take my clays. You could do trees, um, and I'll do that one that way. And I'm getting some secondary stamping and third. Fourth. Okay, I'm going to dry this off. Um, you put you put another stamp over it. It kind of lifts it. Up. I think we'll do this one. And it's just it looks like a little sort of like the end of a branch. And they kind of like distressed leaves anyway, so so we'll put that one in that way, and I'll stamp it again, and we'll put it this way. I think we'll put a little bit over the the sun. Look. There, so you, you, you can feel it just slipping and I'm just going to do some fill in this bit here okay And we'll dry that off again. Want to come in with some um, orange. And give me a look at these. That's too pale. That's ripe persimmon. Oh, went over the, the sun a bit there. All right. And then we'll go over with a little bit of crackling campfire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with a little bit of walnut stain. Uh, 
and I did have a brown one, there it is. I'm going to leave it like that because what I'm going to do is do some more water dabs. Oh, I love that. I really do like that. And it's not a sky that I've seen before, but <laughs> who cares? I've seen them bright orange before, but I'm just going to dry it off a bit. Okay, now what I have got is I've got a nice, um, and it says, live every moment, laugh every day and love beyond words. And I think it's a beautiful um sentiment i've seen it several times but worded slightly differently um but i do like it so and we're going to put that over the sun now what i am going to do is i'm going to try the stays on it will be similar to the um players versafine Probably will dry quicker. And we'll just put that right over the, the sun or the moon or whatever you want to call it. There we are. Does that look truly dooly? Yeah, and I am going to go around the, the edge with, with brown. In fact, I'll go around the edge with black. I've done all the corners. Um, right, so we've got that one. What was what was the other one that did? What well, I've covered it up with. Love the money. Here it is. Okay, so. I'm going to put the, the big hole. There we are. And that one's got one in. This one doesn't. So if you do it on sort of like the normal card, it will dry quicker. They'll just take mm, that's dry. 
so it'll just take a little while longer for that to dry so I'm just going to put some um, twine in and I might do some little Celtic heart knots again um, I'm not going to do if you want to know how to do them yeah look it up I've not got the patience to I don't do them that often so I have to keep looking them up if if I did them every day and I, I knew how to do them sort of like you know with my eyes shut then I would but I don't so So there's that one and again we'll just tighten a knot. I might take these out and put grommets in later on, but um, that way, that's how you do that, or that way. through that way I just after all these years of tying bows on wedding stationery and birthday cards and I've just found out how to do a bow without having to turn it upside down <laughs> I'm going to use some of this for this one this is that it's garden twine but it's like it's wool and it sets my teeth on edge so I, I very rarely use it and what I'm doing is I'm just tying that now and not there we are so there we are. So I hope you get something out of that. Um, it doesn't have to be tags. It doesn't have to be tag shaped. It can be anything. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.